Namaste, Losties. Hello. We've just watched episode seven, The Life and Death of Jeremy Bentham. All I can say is, wow. Welcome to this, the official fan show for Lost on Sky One. Look, it's Geeky Tom, or GT as we're going to be calling him from yeah. now on. Yeah. How are you doing, GT? Uh, yeah, good. I like yeah. that. Yeah? Let's get some enthusiasm. Oh, this is the best I can do, my friend. Did you notice he actually went, oh! Over here, it's the editor of the official Lost magazine. I like to call him Paul Terry, because his name is Paul Terry. Or PT. PT. GT, PT. It's confusing things now. <laughs> it's confusing. Let's talk about the episode, because there were a lot of things to talk about. A John Locke episode. Yeah. Always exciting. Oh. Always going to be good. Locke isn't dead. No. Which we sort of knew was going to happen, didn't we? But I was going down the Medusa spider. You were absolutely convinced. I'm actually quite pleased it wasn't, just to see it in your face when <laughs> it wasn't actually the spider. Well, there were so many clues, though, that it was going to be the Medusa spider. The expo Well, there was one, the expose episode that uh, Cheech and Chong were watching. Yeah, but I think in your little mind there was loads of clues, but in everybody else's, I think okay. they were pretty sure that the island was going to bring him back to life. Okay. Well... Okay, I didn't know that the island was going to bring him back to life. But how many times has he been shot? You know, or hurt, or killed, or maimed, and he just comes back to life. He's not been killed before. How about when he got shot? When he got shot? By he Ben. Did. When yeah. he got shot by Ben, though, he didn't die, did he? He just got very, very poorly. That was the, um, the pit, wasn't it? Yeah, the bodies went where he through. saw Waltz. We're, we're and talk, it, and it was Waltz, um, a it? kidney, wasn't it? A kidney missing that saved his life? The kidney hadn't been taken out? Yeah, yeah. So he didn't actually yeah. die, I don't no. think. No. So he, in, in answer to your question, oh, yeah, cause zero cause times. You, you, can, you, can, you can just get shot you know, pretty much every day now, and you just heal up and it's fine. You know, this, the island, of course, doesn't have oh, any kind island. of special healing powers. I mean, yeah, God, come on. To bring a man back to life, Tom. Yes. That's a lot to ask of a magical island. It's the, it's, yeah, it's you know the most what? impressive act. I, I think it act, is a lot it, to know? ask, actually. I think that it's, <laughs> it should be something the island should do on a day-to-day -day basis. More people should be brought back to You're life. Very, yeah. who, has, who has rattled your cage this week? You're gonna get on my nerves, you are. Okay, I'll be quiet then. We think they may have landed on the Hydra station. Well, you said it first. Because of the logo. We've, we've got the little squiddy Hydra logo thing on the dark. So the Hydra, thing. that's the, other island. That's on the well, other island, is it? There was I'm that fuse. Yeah. Well, there was that wide shot with the uh, the moonlight, beautiful shot, and there was like the little mini island. Yes. And then there was the main island. So I was thinking, if they're showing that shot, and they've also got the uh, Caesar, new character, uh, reading the Dharma booklet thing with the Hydra logo on it. Also, which would be quite funny because three ben, boats Ben's coming. back. The yeah. three, the three boats to get to the other island? That's correct, that's correct. Oh, oh We've good seen one. those Actually, boats. Well, no, hang on. That's, that's good. But those boats, they, they, there are three boats. Again, back to me watching season three, because um, Jack has, and they've just left on those boats to go to the main island. But those boats would be on the main island. Um, or oh, there's some more. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the boats, okay. So uh, uh, a boat has been taken by the pilot, Mysterious lady, it's got to be Sun, isn't it? Yeah, it's got to be Sun. Got to be or, or Kate, though. Or another character we haven't, uh, we haven't introduced you yet. Caesar. Tom, JT, what do you think about him? Um, he's obviously got some hidden agenda because he had a, he, he, he took a picture, um, a map of the island, didn't he? There was one, one of the lines on, uh, there was a diagram, and one of the lines on the diagram said real time. So it was kind of like a time map, let's say. Yeah. Where it described all the different time, maybe they're all jumping well, to. Well. Yeah. So yeah, he's obviously on a mission from Widmore and or... A.K. or Ben, over the two. He saw every, he saw everyone disappear. What I want to know is he, he saw um, Hurley, Jack, uh, and Kate disappear. Why did Ben, Son, and Lapidus not disappear? Well, they didn't get all the people on the plane that they needed to. There was lots of kind but, of... But why did they disappear? They're... It's not an exact science, I don't think, is it? So maybe some people jumped to a different time and other people jump to a, okay, another so time. Paul, have you got any theories on that? I'm confused. No, I think what Tom was saying, there seems to be some kind of, you know, that, exactly that, that it's not an exact science. Something random has happened because it doesn't make sense why Locke, because Locke was, well, he was dead on the, on the plane, but he was sort of part of the original posse. So why would he not have done the kind of mm. walk thing and landed near the water? Because he wasn't um, playing Locke. He was playing his um, Christian oh, show. Ah, yes, yes, when, good one. When, yeah. when, when... Okay, here we go. This is exactly why they're <laughs> in a different place. Was I in the middle of asking something? Tell, tell section of the plane. The whole plane crashed? Yeah, but it's split into two bits though, didn't it? On the original crash. Yeah. Bits in one 
Because so, but, but Lapidus is in the front of the plane. What with him being the pilot and, and all. the plane's intact. The plane, so, the Azure but I'm just saying that if they're trying to recreate the crash, Lapidus, maybe that's why there are two separate Lapidus groups. Lapidus was on the front of the plane. Maybe that's why there's everyone two separate was sat groups. in the front of the plane. Okay. Uh, when has that plane crashed? Has it crashed at the same time? as uh, the, uh, Jack and Kate and, and Hurley? Because we, we, we suspect, we don't oh, know, I assume so. we suspect yeah. that they're in the 70s or the 80s because uh, Jin is driving uh, the, the Volkswagen, it's brand new and he's wearing a, a clean suit. But we didn't consider at the time that it could be a different van. I mean, could it's, be. Could you know, be, there's yes. one, one van, yes. so it could be a different van. So, okay. um, yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't be a different time. That it feels like... We've got uh, a forum post from Baker1000. There were obviously 999 other bakers uh, <laughs> registered. Caesar found one, what appeared to be Rousseau's map. Two, the map Daniel and Charlotte used to find the Tempest. Three, a photocopy of something from Daniel's journal. That is an eagle-eyed fan. Yeah, well done, That's impressive. Baker, 1000. Yeah. I mean, he offers, he offers no information around that or no theories around that, which is a shame. <laughs> but if that's true that we spotted, well done. Uh, you can send us your comments, your questions and your theories uh, via the email to lostonsky1 at sky.com. Lostonsky1 at sky.com. Or you can go on the forum sky.com forward slash lost. Now, we just have to slow things down ever so slightly for the next few minutes because I have to issue an apology. Last week, we talked about a woman that we had seen in episode four. It was indeed Carol Littleton. She was first seen in Part Avion and recently seen in The Little Prince. Uh, Erin's grandmother, Christian Shepherd's lover, and Claire's mother. It was not her aunt, as Geeky Tom said it was. So, Tom, that's a shame on you, yeah. You really, really muffed it up there, mate. And we were, we were arguing all the way yeah, through the yeah, podcast, yeah, you know, that you were yeah. wrong, you and then, it. you know, embarrassing. But what I love about this situation is everybody who watched it all, all of last week ago will actually remember exactly who said it was Tom. And we'll, we'll have a little cut there. We all noticed was when we saw Walt again, Oh. Not the fact that he's massive and his voice is deeper than mine. He wasn't very good at acting this as he gets, gets older, is he? What's well, he got to work with, though, really? He has like a five minute part. Yeah. Um, and he, we hadn't seen him. The last time we saw him, he was tiny. And I feel sorry for Locke, though, because I thought, you know, Locke's, he, he's there, he's going like, hey, hey, Walt, high five. And I just felt sorry for Locke that they, they couldn't go and hang and have dinner if and you have were a prop catcher. I think you said it. You'd be like, okay, tell me absolutely everything. Yeah. Tell me, I want to know everything. Well, but there's that thing, isn't it? Well, how, he's been off the island for three years. We keep forgetting that. Yeah, yeah and, and he's a kid. Well, yeah. he's, well, I don't know how old is he supposed to be now. 15 or was he like 12 on the island? Like 14, 15. Oh, yeah, something like And that, yeah. kids forget stuff, don't they? But he's really, I mean, he's a really messed up child. Come on, right, let, let, let Tom have it, come on. You, know, you crashed on an island. It'd be something that you probably would stick in your mind. <laughs> so, I thought you were going to come with so many well, like that. But, they, but yeah. kids move on from these, <laughs> these things, don't they? Their, yeah. their, their, their minds heal better than the oh, adult minds. One question I would have for Locke if I was Walt is, everyone thinks you're dead, yeah. and now here you are, what's up with that? <laughs> That's what Locke's... It's a good question. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a very nice question. question. I'm completely honest. Like, what was Saeed doing? Is he working for Greenpeace or something? Bless him. Oh, you know. I guess if you're if you you know you're a man that believes in karma, then after killing a load of people, you're probably going to have to build a, a lot few of houses people. for some poor people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can only imagine there seems to be a long trail of you know hitman operations. And then, I, you know, I do hope we don't get Greenpeace. A Saeed yeah. flashback where the episode is him joining Greenpeace, going and building a roof because that would be quite dull. We, who couldn't help but shed a tear? when Locke was taken to the grave of Helen, who we all were talking about and thought was quite saucy. The, she's lovely, the, lovely the, actress. Who's she, she, the, uh, the she, play, she t does the voice for Leela. Leela, yeah. yes, as, as a voice we've all, all grown to know enough. I, I miss her. I, Is I she forgotten. dead though? She had a brain aneurysm. Hmm, I'm not sure I believe that, but I don't believe what you're saying to me. I don't think she's dead. Who can be trusted? In a strange yeah. part of the graveyard that's surprisingly empty. But like Tom, you were saying, I mean, who, how can you trust in any faction of, you know, the, the Widmore team, team Widmore, team Ben, it's, it's really difficult. The poker faces are brilliant. I, 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 I've kind of moved away from trying to trust either of them. <laughs> you just think they're both I evil. think they're both as well, evil let, as Well, listen, we'll discuss, we'll discuss Ben and, and, and Widmore and who is the most trustworthy in a bit. And also, I, oh, pay attention to this, Lost fans, our Wednesday edition, uh, we're going to talk more about John Locke. It's going to be pretty much a John Locke special oh. with other bits and pieces in I might there come well. to that. Yeah. But it's, uh, it, it should be fun. Ben. Sorry, I just, I'm taking this in because I was surprised 
that Ben murdered John Locke. Yeah, yeah, big time. And he did kill him, didn't he? There's no... Yeah, he's he did, he? stroking his... Yeah, nah, he but, was st- he's stroking his hair back then. But just, I, like, I, like that, I like that scene, because when he first came in and he was sort of crouching down, you were going, you were going he's getting the, he's getting the juice of spider out. He's going to get... I was going right up until the last minute. Was, fair fair play. You don't need to hang, you, you play, don't need yeah. to hang yourself, John. I got here, I'm a juice of spider. <laughs> and, tell you what, keep the thing. and he didn't do it. Yeah. Didn't happen. Disappointing. But, Why does Ben kill him instead of letting him commit suicide? My, my theory on this is... He needed the inf- he needed the name uh, Eloise Hawking out of him. He needed to know who the contact was that could help him. Yeah, I, s- I like that. Sorry, I, I do you, like you that. Don't, like don't, don't com- you apologise for liking my theory? No, no. He I looked do like he's about it. to complain. I, no, no, but I'm still confused as to as to why that and uh, the gin the gin sort of speak seemed to upset him. And then he got very upset with the gin speak, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. He surprised and, and that Jim was alive. And then literally animated got the wire and Bosch. You know, so and I think it was genuine surprise that Jim was alive because to emphasise it. He sort of looks down as though he's thinking about it. It's acting skills, that is. Uh, but why would he be upset that Jin's alive? That, that, that would mean his plan one. isn't going to plan. Well, it's something that he doesn't know about, uh, like a variable that maybe he maybe hasn't. that's it. Yeah, if he doesn't know something, that really annoys him to the point of, you know, no, killing he, somebody. There's basically two <laughs> theories, isn't there, whether he is killing Locke because he knows that the Locke has to die. So, he, you know, to get him all back on the island. Or he's killing Locke to kind of replace him as the... The leader. We've got two groups on the island, okay, that what we could got? have um, or could be led by two different people. Tell you've us got, those groups, please. You've got your Ben group. Yeah. Who's guess, Team Ben? Who's Team I, Ben? Well, I guess it'd be Jack and, and the rest. But now you, you could have a Widmore group now with Caesar and all his followers. Good one. There's going to be a war, maybe two groups with Ben and Well, Widmore there's a war charge. coming. There's a war coming, as, as Widmore says. Yeah, yeah, that was troubling. I mean, that's... No, you say you're troubling. Actually, I'm quite looking forward to it. Yeah, war be yeah. wicked. Mm. Oh, <laughs> you're not very... like I won't watch it. Very, quick, <laughs> it's very quickly. I'm turning off, you know. Uh, ooh, I, I almost had a little little excited wee when the, all the car crashes were going off. That was good. Well, it was that bam, was amazing. flipping yeah, 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 yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. Love it. During the week, we asked you to send in your questions for Damon Lindelof and Carlton Cuse. Thank you very much to everybody who sent them in. We're going to try and ask as many as we can in the short time that we have with them. Say we, we, we're not meeting them. We'll hang out with us. Uh, I'm going to bring you some answers <laughs> in the coming weeks in our exclusive interview, so make sure you keep coming back uh, to hear those. Now, back to episode seven. Charles Widmore being very helpful to Locke. Widmore says to Locke, I'm deeply invested in the future of the island. What does that mean? In that moment, though, I, I believed him. But then a few scenes later, Tom was going, no, it's all minute. You got sucked then. into it, and you're going. You, you're saying you felt sorry for Widmore. I did for a moment, a fleeting moment. <laughs> Has it gone? Yeah, I had that cookie. And well, then there's that <laughs> all over. There's that thing where he says, you know, the island. I was in charge of the island. I looked after it for 30 years. So that means he stayed on there for for, for a long, long. Well, hang on, let's work it out. So he was on the island in '54. When did he say that he met 60, uh, Locke? 70. When he was in what 17. Age? 17. And so that was 1954. Ish. That's when the, the Jughead was on there. So 54 to 64 to 74. To, that means he left the island in 1984. Ish. Okay. When was the incident? I don't know, but what that means is. I'm pretty sure that was in 1984. Wasn't no, it? no. Okay. Mm. Wait, is it, was it 1984? I think it was a year I like don't that. know. Probably. A year what that. that means is that the, um, the Sawyer and that lot, if we're saying they're in the late 70s, early 80s, that Widmore is on the island and in charge of the island. Interesting. Aberdeen. Oh, yeah. It's exciting. Uh, get shot. That was a brilliant scene. I felt quite bad for him though. Well, why? So, well, because you know, as an audience watching it, we've seen you know different viewpoints about the character and whether yeah. he's bad or good. We've had Hurley freaking out about him, but now he's been shot by well, Ben claimed it. Ben claimed the uh, yeah. the, the excellent sniper yeah. shooting, but maybe he's a good guy. We don't. We're not. Sort of uh, no, he's, about he him. says that he works for Widmore to to help people get to where they need to go. That's yeah. a bit. Maybe Ben be. was trying to kill Locke as well. We don't know. Ah, oh, yes. And Very good. And hit <laughs> yeah, Abaddon yeah. by mistake. It keeps popping up as this kind of this, this mysterious figure. It, I, I think there's probably more to him than just being Widmore's... He's dead. Well, no, listen, man. The time travel is, is the thing. We could see him again. Yeah, come on. People die and they come back. People die and they come okay, back. I bet you a Cadbury's Dairy Milk that we don't see him again. You're on. Oh, we're so seeing him again, Actually, man. Long. If you want to get in touch with us, you're more than welcome. You can email us, lostonsky1 at sky.com. Lost on Sky 1, it's the number one at sky.com. Uh, we're also on the Twitter, the Bebo, the Facebook, and the MySpace, and uh, we record this Sunday show. I'll tell you now, I'll let you behind the mask, uh, on a Friday. And if you follow us on the Twitter, we update 
I update on the computer, so you can yeah. uh, get without any spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. Yet. Evil spoilers. Okay, so uh, the, the Jeremy Bentham John Locke special, uh, Paul Terry, just 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 sum it up for us, please. Uh, Terry O'Queen is the greatest actor alive. Oh, he's a good actor. Amazing. Isn't he? He's a Amazing. good actor. So many I'm not bothered. Okay, good. Our midweek edition is released this Wednesday at sky.com forward slash lost. We're going to talk more about John Locke, uh, the work he's got to do, and his destiny. Plus, we've got more of your emails, uh, your questions, and the best of your theories. So please, please join us on Wednesday. Until then, as I say every week, namaste. Is Tom still there? Mm, a little. Nuts. What happened, kid? Where's Aaron? I don't ask questions. If you want me to go with you. You'll never ask me that question again. Stand, Jack. Yes. Thank you. Don't need to hang yourself, John. I got here a Medusa spider.